Okay, I thank God for everyone that's here, and, and I hope no one is scared. I got a gun here, so don't be scared. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do anything bad. I just want to explain some things. Do you have your phone with you? Yes. Okay, can I have it? Thank you. Okay, I want to explain something about this. This thing is a lot of times like this is. And I want to explain, and I, my topic today would be more about Facebook. More about Facebook than anything, but also the phone is dangerous. And so I just want to explain something so that we know what it is. This thing is dangerous. And a lot of times, Facebook, we use Facebook like it's nothing. And I just want to show you how we're using Facebook a lot of times. We get into it, and we're just just look, looking around like nothing bad is happening. And John has a verse there in Ephesians. Yeah, it's, a, it's going to be, what is the, the will of God in Ephesians 5? Everybody wants to turn there. Ephesians 5, 15, 17. Seeing then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, re redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah. So here it says, be work the way like wise men, not like the fool. A lot of time we're just scrolling around the Facebook and things that is not necessary. And then we're like the fool. And what I want to show you, and I want to show you just to make it more so that it goes into our brain. There's bullets in here. And I just want to show you something. Don't be afraid. <laughs> and, and now it's more, it's hotter. Now I got the clip in there. It's hotter. And now if I load it, now it's even hotter. And then, but I got it unlocked, so don't be scared. Now if I unlock it, it's even danger, more dangerous. And then if I would be cleaning here, just like nothing. How dangerous is this thing? And then with kids at playing right there, how dangerous would it be? It's super dangerous because it could kill someone. It's dangerous. And we don't, we don't think about when we're on Facebook and just wasting our time. We're doing the same thing. We're killing our soul. And a lot of those young people, they just look. They're just always on Facebook. They don't spend their time in the Bible. So they're not really living like wise man, like it says right here. And that is the same dangerous than if I claim this gun right here now. So I don't want to claim the trigger right there because then a bullet would go out. So it's super dangerous. We don't want to do it. And so what do we need to do? Take this out. Get the bullet out so that it's not any more dangerous. We need to, when we take the phone, we, take, we want to go on Facebook. Let's have a plan. And when we don't have a plan, that's when it's dangerous. We kill our souls of just wasting our times, a lot of times. And not just Facebook, a lot of other things. Sometimes, and this happens to me, and I have to work on this not to get into it. A lot of times I would just, well, it seems like I don't have nothing to do. And just, what's there? Or looking status. I think we as Mennonites have more problem on the status. We just look at the status. It's not building us up. It doesn't bring us closer to God. What does it then? Peter, can you answer it? When it doesn't bring us closer to God. Separates you from me. Separates us. Exactly. So that's what it does. And then it kills our spirit. It kills our soul. And so it's dangerous. We don't need to do that. And so we need to uh, take it out so it's not any more dangerous. And then... When we take the phone, let's do something necessary. Uh, Romans 12, verse 2. We'll read there. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that, what is that good an acceptable and perfect will of God. Yeah. Prove what yeah. is good. Prove it. 
what is good. And when people see us all the time in the Word of God, and they get to know right away, everyone gets to know how much time I'm spending in the Word of God, or how much time I'm spending in the news, Facebook, WhatsApp, just wasting my time. Because people get to know, well, he's down, he's not feeling very good, he's not... He's not very excited about the things that talk that the Bible talks about, and then you know that he was a little too much in the news. And you hear it when we're talking, you would hear it right away. What what are my words? When my words are just, hey, have you heard what's in the news? Have you heard this? Then you know that I was too much in the news. When you hear it all the time, hey, did you read this? I got a scripture. This was so nice. I have to share this with you. You know that we were doing what the Word of God says. And then, then we prove what is good, like this verse says. You had another one? Yeah, yeah I got another one. Uh, 1 Peter 2, verse 15. This is the will of God, that with well-doing we, you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. So it's saying we are to stop the mouths of fools with our good works. So is the will of God, that with the well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish man as free and not using your liberty because you are free through the blood of Jesus Christ doesn't mean we can use that freedom for maliciousness like for bad things but as servants of God to love Amen. that's a very good verse See, so I think we know now if we we and I like to uh, just say it again the service we had last time we had it about uh, making a, a destination or making a decision what to do what way to go the way of life or the way of death and here you can choose what you want to do and like he's like this verse says uh, that we need to be honest and gentle uh, and so and speak against you as what's that word? Evil doers. Evil doers. See, so we need to t put that away and uh, start doing the good things, and then people are going to see a difference in us. So when we put this more in the pocket and more of this, it helps a lot more. And when we want to take this, have a plan. Okay, if I want to take it, you have it in the pocket, and you think, well, if I take this. I have to read a verse before I do anything else. You end up not thinking this as much as you do usually. So I just want to encourage everyone, those that are here and those that are looking, uh, that they would take this out and not having it loaded and claiming it because it's dangerous. And so when we read a verse before we take this and when we have a plan, when I want to go and call Peter or John, then I do it. I just don't open it. Oh, what is this? And then, you know, not have a destination or not have a, our sight. You know, when I don't have my sight good, when I don't have it adjusted good, it's dangerous because when I want to shoot something, I might shoot something else than what I want. So it's dangerous. So we have to have our sights correctly. So I thank you, everyone, for uh, listening. And, and Brother John, would you pray with us? Sure. Uh, when you bow your heads for prayer thank you heavenly father for this beautiful afternoon and thank you for sending all these brothers and sisters over here and we just we can see that your, your uh, will is done and you say where is two or three gathered together in your name there you are also we thank you that you are here may your holy name be glorified in jesus name thank you amen, amen. amen.